Hey, it's Molly. Welcome to my YouTube channel as we take a look at the Capricorn full moon happening on June 21st, 2024 at 9.07 p.m. That's Eastern time. So keep in mind this Capricorn full moon could be occurring on June 22nd for you, depending on your location. The Capricorn full moon is happening at one degrees of Capricorn, where you can see that the moon is opposing the sun, which has just passed over the solstice threshold, is now in Cancer energy, and at one degree of Cancer meets up with that full moon illuminating energy that wants to bring your attention to something important in the Capricorn areas of your chart. Now, this is important to note because we are going to have two full moons in Capricorn. This is our first one at one degree. Our second one is going to be July 21st at 29 degrees. And so this serves a few purposes. First of all, the Capricorn areas of your chart are requiring more of your energy and attention right now, even though we're moving through cancer season. And I'll talk about these planets and energies in just a moment. But the Capricorn areas of your chart are experiencing two full moons that are revelatory, insightful, showing you where you are on purpose, on task, and also revealing what needs to change so that you can be focused on better results that the Capricorn energy wants you to produce. So this particular Capricorn full moon is at the very beginning here of Cancer season. And in the Northern Hemisphere, we associate this with the beginning of summer. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's the beginning of winter. But we typically look at this as an important season of change. It's also the gateway into the second half of the year. And I had a funny pop culture reference come through when I was first looking at this chart. Have you seen the movie Office Space? I think it's 20 years old. Uh, but Office Space is about someone who doesn't want to be a worker in the office and he's getting really lazy not doing his work doesn't want to show up and then in walks his boss asking about his TPS reports and that's what this Capricorn full moon is doing it's asking you so what about those TPS reports what about the things you've been working on and then this is a part of your energy that wants to take a break wants downtime wants to relax on the couch and spend time with loved ones, ready for a vacation of some kind, perhaps. And then the Capricorn full moons are like, sure, but you still have responsibilities. You still have things you need to take care of. And I'm gonna need to see those TPS reports on my desk. So this is a Capricorn full moon that's also checking in on what you had planned to successfully complete change or experience this year. Every Capricorn full moon is checking in on your New Year's resolutions and intentions, uh, your projects, your goals, you know, what you had basically said, I'm gonna do this this year. This is a time to check in on that. How's that going? How's that working for you? Is it working for you? Or are you realizing you wanna change it up? There's things that you don't want to do anymore and you're ready to make the necessary adjustments to prioritize perhaps more of what is best for your energy as we move through cancer season. Venus and Mercury are still traveling together here through the first decan of cancer. Uh, they were conjunct at zero degrees of cancer before this full moon and there could be something coming up for you that you need time and space to process to feel into cancer is the first water sign of the zodiac wheel it is cardinal water 
So it initiates and directs forward what you're really feeling. Maybe what you've been out of touch with, what you weren't realizing was occurring in your internal world. This is the energy of wanting to exhale, needing a break, especially from the intensity of Gemini season, looking to just be in the flow of daily life, of you know what you want to do and not feel rushed or not feel like there's a due date. But that's very difficult with this Capricorn full moon because this is what's keeping us in line. So it's the energy of you want to get out the door to have a day off. You know, you're going to the beach, you're going to meet up with friends, but there's these tasks you have to get done in order to enjoy the downtime. So you could feel like this is a Capricorn full moon highlighting what is important for you to take care of even if there's other things you'd rather be doing. But thankfully, Mars at nine degrees of Taurus is in a wide trine here to the moon, and it's saying, I'll take care of it. I'll get it done. We'll keep it simple. We'll make it happen. We'll see it through. So this Mars is keeping you grounded on those priorities, on what you need energy for to ensure it's taken care of. And this is also providing a good understanding that if I get some things finished and off my plate, then I will have time for what I prefer to do. And I think it's that Mars and Taurus that is going to help this particular Capricorn full moon be more effective, where you just accept what is, work on it, get it done, and then you're good to go. You've turned in your TPS reports and you can clock out. Now, the Capricorn full moon is ruled by Saturn, which is moving very slowly because Saturn is preparing to retrograde on June 29th at 19 degrees of Pisces. So we have a Saturn just hanging out here, lifeguarding, lifeguarding, watching the shore, watching the activities, observant, quiet, reflective. And that could be something you're feeling and sensing as well, is that a part of you is wanting to listen to more of what's going on within you. Less distraction externally and more focus internally. We have the Saturn and Neptune in Pisces influences that are also going to feel, I'm going to say more in a flow, when these three planets move further into Cancer. So later in Cancer season, we're going to see Mercury, Venus, and the Sun, each trine Saturn and Neptune and Pisces, which is going to give you personal spiritual validation. Personal spiritual validation, I feel, is what is forming and coming through during cancer season. And it's also going to be very evident for you during the second Capricorn full moon a month from now, because when that moon is at the end of Capricorn and the sun in Cancer will be at the end of Cancer, both are going to be working favorably with this Neptune. I feel, I, I'm, I'm feeling the energy of exfoliating, like things are washing off wearing off, moving out. You could be feeling when you get quiet and listen, you could finally be seeing and feeling how much you're evolving and changing. And that's the internal energy here that the planets and Pisces are bringing us to. And there's something about this cancer season that's going to highlight it where maybe it's when you are at home, on the couch, hanging out, doing what you do, 
and you're listening to your own energy systems and you're more in tune with them, there's going to be some kind of validating messages coming forth. And I'm, I'm just feeling this is very quiet energy. Again, very personal. Personal spiritual validation that you're understanding And I'm feeling it as a very soft frequency, so very light, like light filled, but just light touches, light whispers, light messages coming through that feel so loving and kind. It just is very positive. It has that essence of I'm doing it. I'm doing the work. I'm, I'm healing. I'm evolving. I'm changing. And only you know that. So there's a part of your experience that is actually getting internally louder. And there could be messages during this particular cancer season that now that, that feel clearer because it is a feeling, as is the case with all planets in water signs. And you'll notice that we have five planets in water signs here which are asking you to go within, to hear, hear what has been changing within you, what you've been externally exfoliating. Cancer is the personal energy field, the personal emotions, your own internal emotional ecosystem, if you will. And then Pisces is the collective. It's the collective energies that we're all experiencing that are at first unconscious, but there is a new consciousness rising here and it's becoming personal. It's becoming personal and you could be feeling it during this Capricorn full moon as a new part of your emotional world that is requiring greater responsibility and acceptance. I, I'm feeling there's a strengthening here. A detached strengthening. That reminds you, you don't need external validation from others. And with two Capricorn full moons, you're moving through a process over the course of this next lunar cycle from the Capricorn full moon through the Cancer new moon to the second Capricorn full moon where you're elevating up and you're rising up in, in a, I'm, I'm hearing, commanding position, commanding something new and different from yourself at a spiritual level. And that energy, it, it's, it's shifting permanently your own consciousness and where your life direction can go. So this is a big lunar month, lunar cycle. And when we follow the energy trail, of the full moon in Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn is in Pisces. Pisces ruled by Neptune. Neptune is the final dispositor, which means it's where the trail ends because this is the planet that's holding court, that is the strongest influence. This, this Neptune continues to be the strongest influence. There are parts of yourself you have to let go of and you're feeling that. You're feeling how much you're changing and how much you have changed, even if it's personal and quiet, um, even if it's something that others aren't aware of in you or that you're not even sharing or actively putting out there. I'm feeling like I'm hearing end of an era. There's the end of an era in the collective energy field that runs the full spectrum 
of deep grief and sadness about what is changing, where we can't go back, what will never be a part of our experiences ever again. And then also this high vibe anticipation of what we're creating next, what we're moving into as, as a species, um, as, as we are deeply shifting and evolving in ways that we don't always see on a daily basis. And there's excitement about where we're going next, but we're also floating in this openness and this openness can bring up everything. But the Capricorn full moon wants you to stay focused. This is what you need to take care of and tend to. And then this is the heart. This is what you're feeling. This is how you're managing and navigating what's coming up daily. In Cancer, there can be a loss of exact words. Mercury, sextiling, Mars is but you know what you got to do. And there's energy for that. There's energy for the things that matter. This could be needing and wanting to be with loved ones so that you have grounding, grounding into it's like the immediate priorities. You know, the, the priorities of your life might be more evident now. Yes, there's priorities in the world at large, things that you have to stay on top of. But, but there could really just be this push and pull around what no longer matters to you and then more of what is important more of what is important. I also want to note that we have planets in new degree territories. So Uranus is now at 25 degrees of Taurus for the first time in about 84 years. Chiron is now at 23 degrees of Aries where it is slowing down as it will station retrograde here, but this is new degrees and the first time Chiron has been here in about 49 years. I've already mentioned how this Neptune is at a new degree point here, 29 degrees of Pisces. And keep in mind, Neptune is preparing to station retrograde at 29 degrees, 56 minutes of Pisces. I mean, the near very, very end of the full zodiac wheel. So, Neptune hasn't been here in about 164 years. And we also have this Saturn, as I said, now at 19 degrees of Pisces um, for the first time in about 29 years. So each of these outer planets is bringing up new areas in your chart that are activating And it's interesting because I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling some kind of stillness here because these two are moving quite slowly in Pisces. Chiron is hanging out at 23. This Uranus is not quiet and not still and is highly activated as it continues forward and doesn't retrograde until August. Um, so this is an active part of change still. I'm just, I'm just really feeling a reflective energy here. Um, I'm hearing nesting, nesting, wanting to nest and just be in a stillness, just be in a contemplative energy that will actually help you. I'm seeing a train track. Tune into the train track or the direction you you want to go, but but it requires a silence or a stillness and a listening. So there's receptive energy here. Strong receptive energy pulling you inside of yourself. I mean, even this video, I'm taking a lot of pauses, right? You know I never do that. So that's part of what I'm feeling here is that even though the solstice occurs and there's a change of energy, a change of season into Cancer, 
you know, the cancer energy is, again, the first water sign, and, and we need water for growth. You got to water your plants. You got to take a shower. You got to drink your, H -T your H2O. So there's, there's the element here of water, hydration, that is pouring into us, and we need to be receptacle. <laughs> we need to be receiving receptacles that receive. So I'm, I'm actually not going to edit this video. I'm just going to let it be because I feel like <laughs> there's something very clear about the energy where if you're stumbling over your words, Mercury and Cancer, and you're not even sure what else to explain or go into, that's exactly it. Just sit with the energy. Find the stillness here. Find the stillness. Because by the second Capricorn full moon, there's going to be more that arises up especially as it connects with this with this strong neptune and pisces so use this energy to affirm how far you've come the mountains you've climbed what you've learned what you've understood about even your life your life from a higher vantage point and then look at what you need to shift and change to be in alignment with more of your spiritual path because throughout cancer season, you're going to be getting more messages, more messages of clarity around what is essential for your energy now. Just make sure to get those TPS reports done, though. Because that Capricorn energy wants to see what you've produced. I'll be back soon, and we'll talk about the Cancer New Moon. And then we will move into the second Capricorn Full Moon in July. Wishing you a beautiful journey through the Solstice Energies. And I look forward to connecting with you again soon.